way we're using cubes, you can use your cubes, but if you don't have cubes, it's okay. Just use something that when you drop them, they won't make a mess, okay? Like I've seen some kids have been using um, candy, Valentine's Day candy, or quarters, or cereal. So if you don't have cubes, it's fine, but you need to run and get five of something that you can drop, okay? And make your pot. Can you all see my pot? It's a big pot with a split down the middle. Yes, that's exactly what I want to see. Good job. Since I am videotaping myself, I cannot say your all's names. So I'm just going to have to try. You're just going to have to work with me here. But everybody draw your pot while we're waiting. Oh, I see you've got M&Ms there. Is that, or marbles, something. What is that, M&Ms? That'll work. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just use two cubes though, or M&Ms or cereal or candy. I see a lot of you guys have Valentine's Day candy. Yeah, that's what orange shirt little boy is using is a Valentine's Day candy. All right, so you've got your two cubes or candy and I want you to gently drop them in your pot And once you have that, we're gonna build a number bond. Remember, just like we did the other day. So just drop two of your cubes. All right, does anyone, well first, because this is our first one today, let, I'm gonna go ahead and build a number bond for the numbers that I have here. So, my big number is gonna be the number of all the cubes in the pot. So how many cubes are in my pot? Two. Thank you, so that's my big number. Now, my little numbers are gonna be the numbers I have on each side of my splitted pot. So how many numbers are on this side of my pot? One. Thank you. And how many numbers are on this side of my pot? Yes, so one and one make two, or one and one make two. All right, did anybody have their cubes or candies that drew, that dropped a different way? Did anybody drop their cubes in a different way? Did they fall differently in your pot? All right, I see some, one shaking their head. If everyone dropped the same way that mine dropped, then let's pick them up again and give them another gentle drop in your pot. Mine, mine landed different. Did yours land different? All right, and I see a little boy in a black shirt that's nodding his head. Um, how did yours drop? How am I gonna write the number bond? A one and a one. Well, we already have one and one makes two. So did you got, did you all drop them any different? And it was two and zero. All right, so that's how mine fell. So, um, Let's build the number bond for this. And can someone tell me how many I have in my whole pot? How many do I have in my whole pot? How many cubes do I have in my whole pot? So. Yes, so that's my big number. Now look, my big number doesn't always have to go on the top. Okay, it can go on anywhere as long as we have a big number and then our two little numbers coming out of it. So, um, how are my two little, how, what, how many cubes do I have on this side of my pot? How many cubes? Oh, I see somebody's got her fingers up. She says this many, thank you, two. And how many cubes do I have on this side of my pot? Yeah, oh, look again. Look again, how many are on this side? Yep, zero, thank you. I saw you um, 
showing me zero. So I have two and zero make two. Okay, let's pick up another cube so that you have three cubes in your hand or three candies, whatever you've got, and gently drop them in your pot. All right, give me a thumbs up if your cubes landed like my cubes did in your pot. See someone with a thumbs up? Two people, three people, four people, five people. All right, so let's um, make our number bond and somebody needs to volunteer because I can't call names. So give me, a, all right, go ahead. You raised your hand, you can do it. Yep, you raised your virtual hand, you can do it. All right, so how many does one and two make? How many, how many all together? Three, so that's my big number. And then I have one on one side and two on the other. So I have one and two make three. That's good, that's exactly what I have, one and two. And that's what most of y'all have. Um, anybody have anything different? Oh, I see someone shaking their head. How, what does yours look like? Does it look like this? Yep. Okay, so tell me the number bond for this one. <laughs> yes, three and zero because we have zero on this side. So three and zero make three. Good job. 